consider a gas in a closed cylinder sealed from the surroundings by a freely moving piston. In the initial state of the system, there is a mass M on the piston, which keeps the gas highly compressed in the cylinder. The initial volume of the gas is V sub A, and the initial pressure is P sub A. This is an equilibrium state where the pressure P sub A is equal to the sum of the atmospheric pressure and the pressure due to the weight of the mass M. We are assuming here that the piston's mass was negligible. We can trigger the expansion of the gas by quickly removing the mass M from the top of the piston. The gas will now expand and its pressure will decrease until a new equilibrium state is reached. This occurs at state B, where the pressure P sub B is equal to the atmospheric pressure. During the whole process of expansion, the external pressure was constant and equal to the atmospheric pressure. So we can write W equals minus P external times delta V equals minus P external times V sub B minus V sub A. Let us try to develop a graphical representation of the work. To do so, we note that the expression for the magnitude of the work represents the area of a rectangle of height equal to P external and length equal to V sub B minus V sub A. To see this more clearly, we can plot the external pressure on the vertical axis as a function of the volume of the substance on the horizontal axis. Note that during the expansion, the external pressure is constant since it remains equal to the atmospheric pressure. Increasing the external pressure or increasing the change in volume would lead to an increase in the area of the rectangle, hence to an increase in the magnitude of the work. The work is actually equal to the opposite of the area of the rectangle. We now turn our attention to the situation where the external pressure varies during ex the expansion, as shown on the plot of P external as a function of volume. When the external pressure is not constant, we cannot write W equals minus P external times delta V, since P external takes different values as the volume of the substance is changing. How can we calculate the work in such a situation? To calculate the work, we consider infinitesimally small steps during the expansion process. The advantage of considering small steps is that we can assume the external pressure to be constant during each of these steps. So for the first step, we use the graphical representation to get the work as the area under the external pressure curve for the considered change in volume. For each successive step, we duplicate the procedure described for the first step. When the volume changes from V to V plus dV, where dV is an infinitesimally small volume change, the area under the curve is P external times dV and the incremental work, denoted dW, is equal to minus P external times dV. The magnitude of the total work of expansion between VA and VB is the sum of the areas of these successive rectangles and is very well approximated by the area under the curve of the external pressure as a function of volume. So we can write W equals sum of dW equals minus the sum of P external times dV between V sub A and V sub B. And for small enough steps, this sum is equal to minus the integral of P external dV between V sub A and V sub B. Obviously, this is a result you had seen before. The integral of a function f of x between two points, x sub a and x sub b, 
is equal to the area between the curve f of x and the horizontal axis between x sub a and x sub b.